Hey everybody, this is David Barnyard Bees. I'm gonna film this just in case this happens what I think is happening right now. I had just done a video on this swarm right here along with the, the video about the frame and taking the pictures. Goosey! Oh no, here she comes. But what happened was all those bees pretty much maybe about five minutes after I dropped that frame of brood and honey in there they pretty much up and took out of the hive and went into swarm mode again but they're congregating back starting to I'm thinking that's what they're doing so if that's the case this swarm has caught up with another swarm. No, it's not a mating flight swarm because this is a swarm. Um, so they come out and they hooked up with a with another swarm possibly because they wasn't complete. They wasn't an established hive yet. They were still actually in swarm mode. So just like hanging on a limb, if another swarm or bees around the area was getting ready to swarm, they could still come out and mix with them and then go back in the box. So that's what I'm looking to see if that's what they're doing. Now there wouldn't be any, any other reason for those bees to up and leave that box and then go right back to it. Think about that. So that right there is proof enough alone that they hook up with other swarms. And I've seen this happen all the time. Uh, more than one swarm will merge together and I talk about that a lot in my videos because I've seen it happen time and time again. And this would be pretty good proof and to show everyone how that actually happens. Now, they completely almost all come out and left and they're circling pretty good sized area here. And they're congregating right back on that box. I don't know how they communicate with each other from swarm to swarm, but it happens and they do it. So. That's what's going on right now, I'm almost pretty sure. Just the way they was acting, because they had no reason. I've never had one up and leave like that with having a, a frame of brood in there. They just don't leave it. I've never had a swarm, never had a swarm leave by putting a frame of brood in it. I ha have had them leave before with just putting a drone comb in. That does happen. But with a frame of brood, they will not desert. They will not desert that that brood so the only reason they could have come out was that was to mix with another swarm and it could have been a pocket swarm it may not even be big enough to even detect but they're going right back and i'm going to put it on pause and we'll see if that builds back up on that front or not okay i just waited a couple minutes um and it's not taking long. They're they're going right back to that box. And I'm watching around the tree and they're not trying to hook up on a limb anywhere else. I'm just kind of sitting back at a distance watching them. And folks, this is how you learn about your bees. Get in your bee yards and, and watch them and observe and just sit back sometimes and, and just watch them. And, you see swarms going on, you see them develop, take note and watch them and see how they, how they go. And it's, uh, it's the best way to learn. That's how I've learned is just uh, uh, paying a lot, a lot of attention to your bees and observing them and, and just sitting back and watching them and see what they do and see how they react to different situations. And, and they're going right back on that box and I'll put it on pause again. We'll wait a couple minutes and resume. Okay, I'm back. I just waited a couple more minutes. And without a doubt, that's exactly what they did. And now they're pretty much going right in that box. There's, uh, there's still a few bees flying around the area. But the rest of them are going right inside that box. See if I can climb up here a little bit closer and give you a little bit closer look at it. 
I can smell that uh, swarm commander I sprayed on there as well. Can't see quite as you got them right up against that sun, but see them fanning. You can see them in the see them in the air coming coming in. So, so that's what's happened. It, it may not have been a a very big swarm that they mixed with, but that's what they've done. Uh, I know this year I've showed a lot of uh, swarm videos, and I usually don't, but this year. Just by chance, I, I've run into a lot of, lot of interesting things that's going on with the swarms. And as the years go on, I, I got to spend more and more time in the bee yard because we're more committed to selling more nukes and uh, queens and such. So um, I've just, I've seen a lot of stuff go on with these swarms this year that, that I wanted to share with everybody. And I hope if you haven't seen some of those swarm videos, go back and watch them because there's a lot of interesting information that we put out and tell about the swarms and and how they work and very interesting but they're very gentle I was right up in them uh, I do have a head veil on a cheap head veil but I didn't even need it because they're they're not even of course it's a swarm most swarms are just uh, extremely gentle But don't forget, 2019, if you want your nukes or packages, barnyardbees.com or call the store, 706-971-2700. We will have lots of nukes, a lot of overwintered nukes this year. Our yard is pretty well packed, and we've got a couple other yards that are pretty well packed. So come see us for all your, need, all your uh, bee supplies, barnyardbees.com. We sell a lot of supplies on there. But that's about it. I just wanted to share another interesting moment with you don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe thanks for watching barnyard bees